All right, in this lesson, we're going to look at how to set up your style boards to be imported into After Effects and used for an animatic. So let's start by making a new file in Illustrator first. We'll look at both the Illustrator and the Photoshop way of doing this. And I'm going to choose the film and video presets. We'll do, um, and you can choose either one of these, the HD 720 or HDV 1080 will be fine. Um, figure out how many artboards you want. It's going to be however many storyboards you want. I'll just do five for mine. Uh, and make sure we are on RGB color mode, but if you choose the film and video preset, it'll automatically default to RGB for you. So let's call this style boards and create. I'm not going to spend a lot of time doing complicated graphics in this. Instead, I'll just do a countdown. Start with one. Obviously, I want my text to be significantly larger so it actually shows up on my screen. And I'm just going to match my numbers to the artboard. Three, and four, and five. And I really should have probably aligned them to make sure everything's centered, but this will be fine. Um, if you do need to make another artboard, hopefully you've had some experience with Illustrator already and making artboards, uh, but you can always use the artboard tool. And to make it the exact same size, if you want to drag one over, for instance, I'm going to make a copy of my fifth one here. I can hold down the Option key on my keyboard, Alt if you're on a PC, and drag over, and that'll make a duplicate. And that way my text is in the same spot, and my dimensions and everything like that match. But I don't want six, so I'm going to undo that. Okay. Once you get your artboards set up, now you got to export them. So when you're dealing with um, After Effects, it's not actually going to let you export, or it's not going to be able to bring in each one of these as individual files if we just do it from this one file. Instead, you would want to um, actually export these out as separate files. And that's the little bit of a tricky part that you would have to deal with with um, After Effects, or with Illustrator. So to separate these out into different files, first we should probably save this. Let's put it on my desktop. Then, to save the separate artboard version, we're going to go up to save again. This time we'll do save as. We'll keep the name the same. Fine, you can click replace. It won't actually, shouldn't actually replace it because what we're going to do is we're going to save each artboard to a separate file when we get to this option. Oh, it looks like it will replace my first one. That's okay. It'll enumerate the rest of them. All right, and that'll actually export your separate files out for you. Uh, and these can then be imported into After Effects, which we'll take a look at next video. But I want to show you how to do it in Photoshop as well. So I'm going to go to my Photoshop now. Make another new file. And I've already set up a custom 1280 by 720, but whatever your size is going to be, whether it's 1920 by 1080 or 1280 by 720, you can type it in here. Resolution 72, RGB color. Um, and you want to enable art boards for this as well. Let's call this one style boards as well. And for this one, it's only going to start you out with one artboard. I wish that it was a little bit more similar to uh, the way that Illustrator did it, but I guess they make you draw your own. 
So then I'm going to go and find my artboard tool. And then the nice thing about working with the artboard tool here, should be giving me these options. You can always add another artboard in. And it should give it to you the same size. Um, typically, you'll see these little plus signs pop up, and that'll let you know that you can just kind of duplicate the previous artboards. So I'm just going to go down my line and make my five like this, by clicking on this little plus sign. Then I would do the same thing again, grab my text. I think it's important to select which artboard you're going to be working with. Set this to just do 300 black one, switch my second artboard to three. Four, and then my fifth one. Okay. So I've got my numbers in here, maybe not quite in the right spot, but I don't want to waste time centering all these, putting them in a good spot. So what I want to show you instead is how to export these as separate files as well. So once again, I'm going to go ahead and save this file. Put it on the same spot, my desktop. Then to export, I would go to File, Export, Artboards to Files. I'm going to put it in the same spot, my desktop, uh, name them the same thing, the prefix, style boards, and then I'll enumerate them afterwards. For the file type, I recommend going with PSD, especially if you have layers that will actually retain the layers in there. Um, if you have art that's outside of the artboards that you want to include, you can include overlapping areas. But I just want to do my artboard content since nothing's going outside of the range of my artboards. And then click Run. And there you have it. You'll have your separate artboards along with your uh, original one as well. So you're going to need to have uh, both your separated artboards and the artboards grouped together as one file for this project. So make sure that you save the, uh, the entire selection of artboards before you actually export out the separate ones. And it might be a good idea to separate the names of them a little bit.